Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. As you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be like a get ready with me style video. It's going to be like a chill laid back video where I do my makeup while I chit chat with you guys and it's also going to be a first impressions video because I'm trying out a bunch of new makeup today so yeah just giving you guys my first impression thoughts um kind of filming you know like the initial um I just want to take you guys along with me while I do my makeup and trying out these new products so yeah I'm just going to be chatting and it's going to be a really chill video I just did this look right here it's a really natural um, glowy makeup look but I love how it turned out and I love a bunch of the products I used today so if you want to see how to get this look right here and if you want to just um, hang out with me for a bit while I do my makeup just keep on watching okay so let's just get started I feel kind of weird because every time I get ready to film I'm like watching YouTube or something while I'm getting ready or listening to music but today we're just gonna be chatting no, or I'm chatting to you guys and you guys can kind of respond in the comments I guess I'm just gonna quickly moisturize using my Pond's dry skin cream because I just washed my face and it's feeling a little bit dry I love this moisturizer so much you guys see me using it quite a bit and update sort of on my skin situation as you guys can see, I still have like redness and stuff along my chin and my cheek area. And that's all scarring, believe it or not. My skin is so much better. Like I haven't gotten any new breakouts or anything like that. It's all scarring. And um, I mean, just because I wash my face right now, it is darker. But as I go throughout my day, they lighten up pretty well. And um, they're pretty light scars. So if you guys want to see like a skincare routine or something or a skin update video on how I got rid of my acne, I mean I'm still dealing with these scars but obviously scars will take longer to heal. But as you can see like this side of my face is doing really really well and my like forehead area. I have some deeper scars here and on my chin but um, they are going away which I'm really happy about and I haven't gotten any like new breakouts which is amazing so I feel like I'm doing really well with my skincare routine so if you guys want an update video let me know because I will definitely do like a skin update um skin journey and show you guys all the products that helped me out but let me know if you're interested in seeing that now as I mentioned in the intro we are going to be using a bunch of new products that I recently purchased today it's just going to be like a tryout first impressions video I'm going to be using the Smashbox photo finish foundation primer for my primer and I've tried this primer out before in like a really tiny uh, sample size and this is just a bigger one. I do like this primer, I don't use it that much but it is a nice like silicone primer to fill in the pores and kind of smooth out any lines. There we go. And we're gonna go in with foundation next. Okay, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm gonna be mixing the shades Buff Bisque and Nude Ivory to get my perfect shade. I've been obsessed with this foundation, guys. It's like my new obsession. I absolutely love it. It can be um, a little drying on my face if I don't like moisturize and prime beforehand just because I have dry skin. But today, I actually want to try this out, and this is the Olay Regenerous Luminous Facial Oil, and I actually want to try adding a few drops of this, um, like, to mix in with my foundation and see if it makes a difference, because I'm really excited to try this oil out. I like to use this foundation with my beauty sponge. This is the Real Techniques one, and I'm just going to dot this on my face. This gives me super nice coverage and um, just a nice look and it doesn't give flashback which that's what I love most about it because I hate foundations with flashback and sometimes I'll find a foundation I like so so much and it has flashback and I'm like oh like why but and I'm taking the shade Nude Ivory just dotting this like in between just because I need to mix them get my perfect shade match so before I go in to blend it out with my sponge let's just add a few drops of this oil right here I'm just gonna add some oil to the sponge kind of I don't know yeah it has a nice texture this oil so hopefully 
performs well with the foundation. Anyways, guys, so I need, like, show recommendations on Netflix because I feel like I've watched so many shows and I'm kind of out of things to watch. Um, I've seen Switched at Birth, The Fosters, and I was really excited for the next season of The Fosters, but it's on Freeform and not on Netflix, and I can't watch Freeform from Canada. So I can't watch it, and I was really upset about it because I was super excited for the next season. They left us on such a cliffhanger. If you guys have watched The Fosters, you know what I mean, and um, I need to know what happens, like, ASAP. <laughs> okay, I like how this oil is helping just blend out the foundation. It definitely took away some of the coverage, so we're just going to go in with a second layer because this foundation is buildable. But anyways, I've also watched um, Jane the Virgin. I like that one. Um, Drop Dead Diva is one of my all-time favorites. like that show as well. I tried Pretty Little Liars and couldn't really get on board just because I need a show that I can watch when I am um, doing something else, like doing my makeup or cleaning up or something like that. Like, I can't just watch. Like, I can't just sit down and watch a show. I don't know. That's just me. Like, I need... To be doing something and I need a show that's pretty easy to follow if you know what I mean so let me know your recommendations down below I've seen Glee loved that one it's such a um, just classic show but yeah let me know what other shows you guys recommend on Netflix okay so now that my foundation is done we're gonna go in with some concealer I'm using the fit me concealer like always I don't know I just can't get over this concealer it's just my favorite I'm using shade 15 right under my eyes and like to highlight on my nose in between my brows on the chin that cupid's bow and I blend it out with my sponge I really want to try the Tarte Shape Tape because everyone raves about it and it's everyone's favorite i might get it i'm thinking about it you guys know i'm not really a huge like high-end girl i don't know it's not because i don't like high-end makeup it's just simply you know i don't have a ton of money to spend on makeup and when i do i just kind of go for drugstore items because i feel like you can find really great stuff at the drugstore like i have tried high-end makeup of course i have high-end makeup but if I were to co compare like the amount of makeup I have like drugstore versus high-end I have way more drugstore than I do high-end makeup and then I'm going in with shade 10 just where I need extra coverage so yeah like I don't know I just with high-end makeup I kind of get what I know is um good or what I really really want like if there's a new release like a new high-end makeup release, I won't just like jump out and get it um, before I have a little background information on it. You know, I'm a bit, big fan of like high-end palettes just because I feel like they're worth the money because you get like a lot of product. But like mascaras, I've tried a few high-end mascaras and honestly I've just found mascaras at the drugstore that compare so I don't feel the need to get like um high-end mascara if you know what I mean okay so now we're gonna set our makeup of course I'm using my Cody Airspun this is just my holy grail powder love the way this sets my face so I just tap some into the cap here I'm just gonna set under our eyes I feel like I should pick up some more of these I think I'm going to the States soon um so I will definitely be picking up a bunch of makeup you guys already know and a bunch of products because Sometimes I can't get certain things in Canada unless I order them on online and shipping can just be like terrible if you know what I mean so Hopefully if I'm going I can get some more products like The shape tape for example because they only sell that at Ulta I'm pretty sure and we don't have Ulta here in Canada and then I know like brands will release stuff in the States first most of the time and you'll see all these beauty vloggers, like they all have them and stuff. And then they'll release them in Canada months and months later, especially like Wet n Wild and Elf. Really like to do that. And 
um it kind of sucks because then i get like all the products later on okay so we've just set our makeup i'm actually gonna do some contouring today which i don't usually like contour on an everyday basis i just kind of go in with bronzer but we're gonna use the makeup revolution contour palette and i'm just gonna take this wet mauled brush right here go into the shade and slightly contour with it i'm just kind of putting the product down and then blending it out after i don't know i just kind of like to do that Place the product and then blend it out. I'm going to be using my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer. I haven't used this in a hot minute, but as you can see, I do like it. I used to, like, I used to use this so, so much. And then we're going to use the bronzer to like kind of blend out the contour. But the drugstore honestly is releasing so much new makeup and I'm so excited. I have some pretty exciting videos that I'm about to come out with and new products that I'm planning to get my hands on to share with you guys and I'm really, really excited. Okay, for blush, I'm going to be using this Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade Satin Coral. I've actually never used this on my skin and I mentioned this blush in a haul I did recently. Um, I'm actually trying a bunch of the products I mentioned in that haul in this video, so pretty exciting. But I like their other shade in this blush, Satin Love. That's one of my all-time favorite blushes. So I decided to pick up this shade. Let's go on the cheeks. It's a very light blush, so I feel like if you're much deeper than me, this won't show up on your skin. But if you like a nude... Oh my god, I have the hiccups. But if you like, like a nude blush, you might really like this. It blends out so nicely, though. I already knew I'd like the formula because I like the other shade in this blush, but I wanted to try out um, this coral shade right here. Now highlighter. Oh my god, I love highlighter so much. Um, I'm actually just going to go in with my glow kit. I actually feel like I haven't used this in so long. Um, I'm going to take this Real Techniques brush and go in the shade Summer. This is my favorite shade in the palette. And just hit the tops of my cheekbones. Look how glowy and beautiful this highlighter is so pretty i just feel like sometimes even though it's one of my favorites i don't use it that often just because you know i have so many highlighters that i feel like i need to use like other products if that makes sense so you can see how glowy and pretty that looks um just to kind of tone it down i'm gonna take just to kind of blend all the powders together i'm gonna take like the clean side of my sponge and just kind of run it along everything actually let's go in with some Actually, let's go in with some setting spray. Just gonna use some MAC Fix Plus. Okay, now we can get started on the eyes, and I'm super excited because I have this new palette here from the drugstore. This is the Wet Mold O Natural um, Eyeshadow Palette, and look how beautiful this palette is right here. If I can open it, look at that. So pretty, such a neutral, pretty palette. Let's just swatch some of these because. I'm really excited to see. Okay. Okay, Wet n Wild. Okay, those are super pretty and they swatch really nice. So hopefully they go on on the eyes really nicely. Need some brushes. I'm just gonna dip into this matte like taupe shade to start a transition. Okay, these powders are a little powdery, like they have some kickback. These powders are a little powdery, they have like some kick up in the pan, but I'm not seeing any fallout on my face yet, so that's good. Okay, that matte shade blended out really nicely, so I'm just going to create a transition. Wet n Wild is just kicking up their game so much, and I'm so excited for a bunch of the new products they released. So awesome that such a inexpensive brand has so many great products. We're going to go in with this brown shade. Oh, that one had a lot of kickback, but tap off our brush and go in on this outer corner right here. Oh, it's pretty pigmented. Just kind of blend it into the crease. Um, like their Photo Focus Foundation, I love. And just a bunch of their new products are amazing. Like, I'm so impressed with Wet n Wild right now. 
they just come out with the most amazing stuff for such affordable prices it's crazy so i just like a taupey um brown crease i'm just gonna add a slight bit of this black shade right on that outer corner just for like a daytime smoky eye i think that's kind of what i'm going for okay we're gonna go in with the gold so i'm just grabbing this elf like flat brush and we're gonna see how the shadow works on its own and if we need to add like fix plus or something we will just going on the lid okay it's pigmented but i kind of just for today's look i want more of a metallic look so i am gonna wet my brush a little bit some mac fix plus and then go back in with that gold shade there's that shimmery metallic pigment that's really pretty let's just do the other eye okay so here is the eyeshadow i overall like this palette i think the matte shades blended out super nicely um and the shimmer shade was nice i just love adding fix plus really to any eyeshadow no matter how good the eyeshadow is i always like to add just a little bit of fix plus um to really like amp up any shimmer shade so it's not that this one was bad but i need to play around with the other shades because i've only tried out a few Let's go back in though with this white matte shade to highlight the brow bone and such. Okay, so now for the lower lash line, I'm just going to take that taupe shade and we're just going to smoke it out on the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take some of that brown right on that outer corner. Do the other eye. Oh, and another thing that hasn't released in Canada. I know I'm like doing my makeup and then like randomly talking, but that's okay. Um, another thing that hasn't released in Canada is the oh, whatever they called the Sephora Pro palettes. Um, I have not seen those in stores yet, which I'm like waiting like. When are you coming? <laughs> okay, today's look is really, really simple, but that's okay. To highlight the inner corner, I'm going to use my Hard Candy Fierce Effects in the shade Slow and Steady. It's just a nice, super light, shimmery shade. I'm just going to take this on a flat little brush and highlight that inner corner. Okay, so I'm going to do my liquid liner quickly, and I cannot for the life of me talk while I'm doing it, so I'm just going to do it real quick here. So there we go, my eyeliner is all done. I didn't go too dramatic with it today, just like a nice little wing. Okay, so we're going to just add some mascara. I'm using the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I just uploaded a um, like review and a demo of this mascara, so make sure you guys go check that out. I'm absolutely obsessed with it and cannot stop using it. It's so amazing, so make sure to go check out that video. I'll link it down below for you guys. This is just such an amazing drugstore mascara. I recently purchased it, but I just used it non-stop it's so amazing like it just builds my lashes so nicely i'm gonna apply some on the lower lashes as well okay so as you guys can see the eyes are pretty natural today um we didn't go for anything too dramatic and the skin is just nice and glowy but still like for coverage and stuff um so yeah now let's move on to like the brows we're gonna use the l'oreal brow definer just to fill in the brows real quick here also i want to know from you guys what do you guys want to see next because i feel like not that i'm running out of ideas but i just want to know what you guys want to see because the content I upload is for your guys' like entertainment and 
um, to like inform you guys about what's new and stuff. So I just feel like I want to know what you guys want to see and what you like want um, and what kind of content you want on my channel. If you want certain reviews on products or more of these type of tutorials, like more chatty ones. And when I do tutorials, like I love filming a tutorial for you guys. But I don't know if I should do like my regular tutorials like voiceover style or if you guys want to see like more talk through like more informative tutorials because I feel like my voiceovers are just explaining the products I'm using whereas I don't know I feel like I can do like more uh, detailed tutorials if that makes sense. I don't know, but let me know down below in the comments because anything you guys want to see, just let me know and I'll definitely try my best to get that up on my channel for you guys um, because I do want to make my viewers and stuff happy because the reason I upload is for you guys and to let you guys know about makeup and new products and just share tutorials and looks with you guys. So yeah, leave me your opinions down below. So I actually want to try out this new brow product. Uh, this is from Rimmel and this is the Brow This Way Brow Sculpting Kit. I got mine in the shade Dark Brown and this has two products, a powder and a cream like um, wax. And I want to try this out because I've been looking for a good like brow and um, wax product. This has like a little seal on the wax part. So let's just go in with some of this wax and see what it does. Never use this on my brows. I actually like this. It's helping like put the brow hairs in place while adding some more color. Ooh, I like this. Actually, I like this. I've never really been a fan of brow powders and stuff, but I've recently started using them. Let's try some of the powder now. Um, hopefully this is a good shade. I don't know, my brows are kind of an odd color. They're like a dark, deep brown charcoal, so it's kind of hard to find my right brow color. Oh, this powder is a little red toned. That's so weird, because in the pan, it's like a deep brown. It has some red auburn type tones in it. That's kind of weird, but that's okay. I still like it. I like this little kit so far, and I'm definitely going to play with it a little more, because... I do like it, so I'll definitely be using it. Okay, so the brows are filled in. We're just gonna set them down with some Wet n Wild Mega Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. Um, I mean, the wax did a pretty good job at keeping my eyebrows like in place, like putting them where I want them to be, but I just like adding a bit of brow gel as well. Okay, time for the lips. We're actually gonna use a new product. This is from Wet Mod. This is the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipstick, and I've actually used these liquid lipsticks in the past. I did a whole like first impressions Wet Mod new products video, and I did try these out, and I did like them. But I really wanted to try out this shade in the shade Rebel Rose. It's so gorgeous. So uh, we're just gonna apply it, and I think it goes well with this look. Love these liquid lipsticks. They apply so nicely and are so comfortable on the lips but are completely transfer proof so they don't wear off throughout the day or anything like that. We're not going to go in with lip liner. We're just going to shape our lips with this. So that's the liquid lipstick color. Um, it did go on darker than in the tube, just a slight bit darker, but I love the shade. I feel like this shade could go with so many different looks. Um, I think it's very wearable. You could do a really intense look with this or a really natural look with this. I just really love the shade and I love the formula on these. So yeah, guys, that's it for this get ready with me first impressions type video where I just try out a bunch of new products um, and kind of sit down and chat with you guys while I'm doing my makeup. Um, I actually really enjoyed filming this video. It's just kind of laid back and less structured than my other videos like tutorials and lip swatch videos or reviews. Um, so I might do these more often just laid back videos like this. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. Make sure to leave down below your questions that you have for me because I do want to film a Q&A video soon. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.